Hello everybody! This is Trey over here for my Q&A! And yes, I'm in the video! Because, why not? You buy, you buy, you spend lots of money on a sexy ass webcam and I'm gonna use it! So yes, it's time for my Q&A and today is my birthday! Well, it's not, it's not today today, because today is Friday. But when this video goes up, it'll be my birthday. So wish me happy birthday in the comment section down below. Do it. And yes, we're just playing Among Us in the background for because why the hell not? Uh, yes, I got lovely, lovely questions from all you lovely people, and we are going to answer them all. Well, not all of them because some of them are a bit stupid. Like, like can I join the next tournament? And I'm like, no. You know that scene in Shrek 2 where Donkey asks, "Are we there yet?" And Shrek is like, "No, no, no." And then you got the pretty naughty top. This is, this is basically what that is. You got the naughty tots being, can I be in the next tournament? Can I be in the next tournament? I'm like, no. But, oh, we're not playing on there. <laughs> you have to forgive me. I never used this face cam before. Well, I have used it before, but I've never done it in an actual video before. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? So, question number one What is your favourite dinosaur? Really? Really? You watch, you watch this channel. You see my logo, you see my banner, you do not know what my favourite dinosaur is. Well, I thought the, the look on my face, the banner, would give it away. It's, 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 it's like asking Pesky what his favourite dinosaur is. What is his favourite dinosaur, by the way? Uh, no, it, it is Megaraptor, the Megaraptor. It, uh, the, the, the thing with the Megaraptor I use is it's the Dinosaur King one, you know, that the most paleologically inaccurate Megaraptor you will ever see because that was the back in the day when we thought it had a, a claw on its foot and it doesn't. All right, we'll go put on you. So yeah, yeah, Megaraptor, pretty easy, you know. Awesome dinosaur, Underrate, underrated in my opinion, to be honest. And it is so awesome that it even got its own class, which is the Megaraptor is, which is even awesomer. But yeah, I actually, right, I actually prefer the paleo-accurate one, if I'm honest. The one where we find out that the elongated claw is actually on the finger. So it like it's 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 like it's got like a cleaver or something. A scythe, that's the word, that's the word. It go whoosh. But yeah, Mega Raptor pretty awesome. Also added to Beasts of Bermuda lately, which I'm not playing that game because like it's smelly. But it did one thing right, and it put Mega Raptor in the game. Other dinosaur games, take note. Alright, question numero deux. What is your who is your favourite YouTuber? Well, me, obviously. <laughs> yeah, well, me, of course. Um, no, okay, I'll put it apart from moi. Um, okay, recently I would probably go with the Gaming Beaver. Because he's literally still doing it. If it was like one or two years ago, I would probably go with popular MMOs and Gaming with Jen. Because I, I, I love them too. Like, they have such good chemistry. They had such good chemistry. It, they were awesome to watch. And if you don't know who they are, they're like Minecraft YouTubers. They like, I don't know what happened to them. They just, they don't post anymore, which is which is a big shame because they were really fun to watch. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'd say Gaming Beaver. And I, I we all love the game. I love the Gaming Beaver. Like, it's no exaggeration to say that anyone who has, does dinosaur content, you know, maybe except for like ones that were before Beaver like Best in Slot, owes any success they have to the gaming beef. Like, I would feel that. I would legit say that. If if it weren't for Beaver, we would probably not have some of the content creators we have today to watch, dinosaur-wise. So it's no, so as I said, it's no exaggeration that every, that every, pretty much everyone who has a successful YouTube channel relating to dinosaur stuff can owe part of their success to people like the Gaming Beaver and Best in Slot. I, I will say Best in Slot as well, because he was kind of before Beaver. Okay, and on the topic of Beaver, here comes question number three. I... That was interesting. Okay, question number three. Are you related to the gaming beaver? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's a foreign server. 
No, I, I'm not related to the gaming. I do get this a lot, actually. Like, people would be going over there, Dude, you sound a lot like the Gaming Beaver. You remind me of the Gaming Beaver. You, you, you kind of like Gaming Beaver, too. <laughs> I, I guess we just have similar personalities. So I can put it down to. No teaming. Like, we do... You know... It, I, it's no exaggeration to say when I watch Beaver, when I watch his videos, I do see a bit of me. So yeah, it's no exaggeration to say that maybe maybe I am a bit maybe I am similar. Would I want to be similar to him? Well, no. <laughs> but yeah, in all in all seriousness, no, I am not related to the gaming beaver. And yes, while I do sound and may act like him sometimes, I, I, I am not to the I am not any in any way related to the beaver. Maybe I should change my channel to the fake beaver. Ooh, that could be interesting, couldn't it? <laughs> okay, question four. Do you see your do you see YouTube as a career? Well, I don't have a career right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The thing with YouTube as a career is like when you're doing it as a career, you're kind of forced to do it, if you get what I mean. So do you really get that? as much enjoyment when you kind when it's kind of forced on you than you would if you were doing it at your own free will that's that's just the thing so i it would it, i would give it a go i okay <laughs> i would definitely give it a go but i feel like maybe you would take away some of the enjoyment i have for doing it oh lovely this guy is trolling I would like to do it as a career, but, you know, I'm happy with where I am right now, and I enjoy just doing it casually and out of my own free will. Okay, question number five. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, this is, this is hard. This is like a long one. So, I'm sure I've mentioned it many times that I am a big fan of The Walking Dead, and well, you can see where I've got, got my Negan jacket on right now. <laughs> So yeah, I, I like watching Walking Dead when it's on. Um, I've also been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels lately, which is awesome, and expect to see some content of that as well, because I, I love, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. I do like collect... Mainly collecting... Oh, I better skip out, didn't I? Mainly collecting than actually being competitive. But, it, you know, Master Duel allows me to be comp play competitively because I can get it's easier to get the cards I would need to be competitive in that game. I mean, yes, people say, oh, well, you've got to spend money on that game to get the best card. Not necessarily, not necessarily. If, you, if you're if smart about your resources, you can you could get a, you could build a really competitive deck without spending money, and I have done that. In fact, I probably built two. But yeah, they, that's what I like to do. Oh, so, well, I try to, but... <laughs> I do do a little bit of exercise, you know, mainly casually, nothing, nothing serious. They are not like ripped or anything. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like I like to exercise casually, you know. It's it's important. You gotta you gotta keep fit, especially doing what I do, which is like <laughs> sitting a lot. Oh oh, well, I died. No, my ears fell off. Boop 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 boop. So yeah, I do like to do that. I like I like football as well. I like watching sports, mainly football and rugby. I mean, I'm from Wales, so rugby is like religion to us. But yeah, I like, I like rugby, football, only international rugby though. You know, I don't watch the, like the clubs and that. Just international rugby, football. Well, I like it all really. I know I'm gonna get in the comment section. Is like, oh, what team do you just support? Well, I, I'm not telling. I'm not, I'm not telling anyone what team I support. I think it's pretty off. I think no one's on the wall. No, 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 no. Yeah, no one knows what team I support. Alright, I think that's enough for question five. Question six, favourite movie? Hmm. Okay, I'll divide this into categories because I've watched a load of movies. So, favourite dinosaur movie has... For me, I would probably go with The Lost World, Jurassic Park. I really enjoyed that movie. I thought it was an awesome movie. It's kind of like Fallen Kingdom, but better. 
and you get you kind of get like a taste of what Dominion could be like with the T-Rex going into San Diego. It's like it's like foreshadowing to a degree. If you think if you really think about it. So yeah, Lost World probably be my favorite. I love that movie. Oof. Okay, we'll go favorite animation. Oh, now that's a tiff, that's a really tough one because I, I do I do like I do like I do like animations and that. Okay, we'll do it for each, like each franchise. So we'll go for Pixar. For Pixar, I probably go with Cars. I go with the Cars franchise, except for Cars Two because sod that movie. But yeah, I, I go with the Cars franchise, except for Cars Two. Cars One and Three though was pretty awesome, and I actually remember watching watching Cars One in the cinema. And we had like a really bad thunderstorm that day as well, so, and that was at a time when I um, was quite, <laughs> I was scared of the thunder and lightning. So, watching that movie really, really like took my mind off it. It made my day. It's awesome. As for, okay, as for Marvel because I do enjoy watching Marvel movies. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. Like, I'll name I'll rattle a few off my head. Well, Black Panther because. T'Challa is awesome. Uh, Infinity War, because Thanos is awesome. Um, Thor Ragnarok I really liked. I'd probably say those are my three, top three. I haven't actually watched Eternals yet. I haven't watched No Way Home yet, so that'll, that'll probably be number one when I watch that thing. Yes, yeah, I'd probably go with those. And yeah, that's, that's, yeah, okay, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's all I can think of at the top of my head. Honourable mentions, Indiana Jones, because who doesn't love Harrison Ford? <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy Indiana Jones. Right, next question. How long have you played Primal Carnage Extinction? Well, Primal Carnage Extinction, I started playing just after I got my computer which was around September 2019. So October 2019, that's when I started playing Primal Carnage Extinction, and I haven't looked back since. But yeah, I, I, I just enjoyed it, it was awesome. The thing with Primal Carnage Extinction, it was a game that was out of my comfort zone, because I've never played a game like like that before, like a, a, an actual shooter game. Usually I've been like more platform and park builders games and such, but I've never played a game like that before. So it was definitely out of my comfort zone. Which I really liked, really liked. And but well, as I said, I haven't looked back since. So, okay, where are we on? Question eight: Why is Megaraptor a based animal? Okay, I don't get what the, what the, this person means by that question. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna skip that one. I don't get I don't get what he means by that. If you mean why does Megaraptor suck, then you're wrong and you suck. Because Megaraptor's awesome. Okay, on the topic, God Mega Raptor, why do you like Mega Raptor? I mean, I'm gonna re-repeat myself at this point, but Mega Raptor is awesome. So there. I honestly don't know. Actually, it's like it just stood out. Oh, oh, we lost. <laughs> it just stood out to me. Like when I first started watching Dinosaur King the anime, I think it was the Mega Raptor episode. That was the first episode I watched, and when. Actually, I think it was a documentary. I can't remember the name of it, but they talked about Mega Raptor in that documentary. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then, I, and then it, they talked about how it could have pack hunted like large sauropods, because that was at the time when everyone thought it was a dromaeosaur, it's like a huge raptor, which it, which it obviously isn't. And that, that it could prey on um, sauropods. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah, that's like, oh, what a cool dinosaur. I mean, it's still a cool dinosaur, and it's oh, is it in another way now? In the fact that it's like his own family and such, it's like a mix of everything. It's got like looks like Spinosaurid, and then you know they thought it was a Tyrannosaur, and then they all thought it was like a, car a Carnosaur, and now it's, it's his own family, which is awesome. So yeah, it's a pretty cool dinosaur Megaraptor, and I do plan, I do plan to do like make my own Megaraptor for like. As like a channel mascot, you know, all the great ones have their mascots. Okay, question number 10. Oh my god, we're almost done. <laughs> when did you start collecting Dinosaur King cards? Oof. I can't remember the year exactly. I think it was just before I started comp. 
and I remember going on holiday in the summer to West Wales in a park called Pendine Sands and I saw the Dinosaur King machine and it was like right at the entrance and I think there was two of them and funny enough this was at a time where I didn't like dinosaurs I had no interest in them whatsoever in fact I was kind of like, I, like bad dreams about them and such mainly because of watching Jurassic Park and yeah it's pretty much Jurassic Park <laughs> it gave me nightmares over dinosaurs so I, I had like no connection to dinosaurs in any way and then that one moment where I decided you know what let's give this game a go completely changed everything and now here I am making YouTube videos about dinosaurs and doing a Q&A you know can't you can't predict it can you okay question 11 which is an annoying question but gonna answer it anyway will you do another tournament well, I've, I'm pretty sure I've answered this question before, and I've already said that I'm not doing one this year. And, well, I'm still undecided on whether I'm going to actually do another one. Um, it's, it's... The thing is, when I did this tournament, all I wanted was for it to be a little bit of fun. You know, people submitting their teams, trying out stuff, having a bit of fun. But I think... This tournament in particular, I feel like people took it way too seriously. They like, took it way too far to the point where people were hating on people who won matches. Like, the naughty toddlers in particular, you know, like, people were literally all against them because, you know, they rule broke. You know, which is fair enough, because, you know, you rule broke, break, you don't really deserve to win and such. But they were just so against them it was going way too far and then obviously as I said the situation with the naughty toddlers and it's like and then it's just for why are you doing this like you know it's just ruin they just, they just ruin it for people the only way I would stop it is to not do tournaments but then that's not fair on all the people who want to take part and play fair and I've never been the type of person that will turn around and say to someone, "Ah, oh, you can't compete." Like I would be, le I would be justified in saying that those people can't compete. But I, I just don't like doing it. And it just got to the point where that friendly competition was gone. So yeah, and if I do do another one again, it will probably be, it will definitely be sometime in 2023. But I am having serious thoughts about just not doing it at all. In the fear that this is going to happen again. If it were to happen, if I did do it and it were to happen again, then I would probably just stop doing it completely. Oh, oh, well I died. <laughs> no. Oh my god, did he just self? I think he did. So yeah, that is a, that is a bit of shame. And you know, you are going to get people like that. You are going to get people that not want to play fair they'll want to ruin it for everyone else and i will not let that happen okay final question du, 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 du. actually no there's two more questions <laughs> what is your favorite game of all time to play okay now that's a really tough one because like i will probably go with even though i haven't played it in about a year or so I would go with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Mainly because that game was literally, literally my childhood was playing that game. I had literally no other game I was playing except for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 when I came out. Like, those three games basically made my childhood. Like, no other game can come close. I mean, obviously, Among Us wasn't out then. Primal Carnage was like 2012. I was pretty much just almost about to finish Comp, and Dinosaur King wasn't out then. Well, it was out later on. But yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3 basically made my childhood, and for that reason, I would probably say that they, the RCT 2 is my favourite game of all time. I absolutely love it. Even though I haven't played it for a year or so, Mainly, I, I, I 
don't know why. It's just like other games have come along and have like taken over, if you get what I mean. You know, it's like I've evolved. It's like, I, my, yeah, I've, I've evolved to the point where I just don't play the game anymore. And, you know, despite my playing my, the amount of time <laughs> time I put into that game, I've only ever come like, have one fully complete park. Which is staggering, because what I tend to do is, like, I'll start a park, I'll get, like, halfway done, I'll get bored, and then I'll delete it and start again. <laughs> so I've ne I've only actually finished one park, which was Extreme Heights. And yes, I did try to do Rollercoast Tycoon on the channel, but... <laughs> it's got, like, no views, so I just said, like, oh, sod it. I won't do it. But if you would like me to play Rollercoast Tycoon 2 again... I would be happy to do that. In fact, I could just showcase the parks I have built over the years. So yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon definitely wins, but like now if it was today, I would Um I would go with maybe Primal Carnage? Maybe I'm not so sure. Alright, final question. Do you have any goals regarding YouTubing? Um, not really. Well, one of my goals was to reach a thousand subscribers, and I've done that. So I'm, I'm actually just genuine. I'm content with where I am. You know, I'm just really happy with what I'm doing. You always get that story with people have a lot of fame and success, but are they truly happy? That's the thing. Like, I'm not going to pick on anyone I know, but you look at the success they have, but are they truly happy as a person? And to be honest, I feel like success, money, power, fate, it, it changes you to a degree. Like, there are, like, rare cases. There are some people where, they, you know, they are that so, like, pure that they, that no matter what fame or success they get in their lives, they just always remember who they are as a person. But you feel like, you always hear all the time, like, people, like, that you would think would be happy because they're successful, they're making lots of money, they're living a good life, but, you know, that's... And then you see them, like, talk about how depressed they were. It's, like, interest, fascinating, isn't it? But, yeah, as for me, you know, I reached a thousand subscribers and I'm happy with that. If there was an overall total I would like to reach, it would probably be a hundred thousand subscribers, and I'd go as far as to say a million would be my end game goal, if I ever get that far. But you know, the fact that I've reached a thousand subscribers, I'm genuinely happy with that. And now I just want to do content and see how far I can go with it. But I will say, if I ever do reach a million subscribers in my lifetime, I would love to take a road trip to South America. And have an interview with the person, the paleontologist, who discovered and named Megaraptor. I would love to do that. <laughs> we could have like a dino tuba you like trip to South America where I could we could all go. So well I will go because it's my idea. We need well we need someone famous, so we'll invite the gaming beaver. He can come. We need a resident expert, so best in slot can come. We'll need someone to port the yeah, we could we could do like a road trip to South America where we can search for a mega raptor fossil. So as I said, we need we need the gaming beaver because we need someone famous. We need best in slot because you know he's kind of like he's kind of like the big the brains of the dinosaur YouTube community. He's like the big brain guy. We need we need a class clown, you know, just to have a chuckle or two. So we'll bring Pesky with us. We need someone to port the fossil into Jurassic World Evolution 2, so Felon can come with us. And we need... Who else do we need? Um, we need someone who likes Dinosaur King as much as I do, so Gozzy can come. <laughs> That'd be one hell of a road trip, wouldn't it? You'd have me, Beaver, Bess, and Sop, Pesky, uh, Gozzy. Okay, we need... We need um, okay, we need a... Um, we need a lady to come with us so Evo can come. <laughs> and is that it? I think is that it now? We need who else do we need? Well, I don't I don't know any any YouTubers that live in South America, so unfortunately we 
Well, if the, if there's anyone that lives in South America, they can come because we'll need them. Uh, who else could we do? who else could we invite off the top of my head? I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head, but yeah, that's basically it. So we have me for part in the trip. We'll have our, our celebrity, which is Beaver. We'll have our expert, which is Best in Slot. Our class clown, which is Pesky. Our, you know, our female, I don't know, Evo for the sake of it. And we will have El Bigozzi because he likes Dinosaur King as much as I do. Oh, and we all also have Felons who can port the mod into Evolution too. Yep, that's it for the Q&A. It's done. Hope you found that fascinating. Hope you found my answers fascinating. And if you did enjoy, please subscribe, comment, and yeah, you know, do all that random stuff. And until then, this is your boy, signing out.